IPIC security played an essential role in protecting the world's leaders during the 2004 G8 summit. The IPIX Command View and Command View 360 cameras provided the exclusive internal security and logistical surveillance systems in conjunction with the United States Summit Planning Organization. IPIX was founded in 1986 with patented technology that provides 360 degree fields of view. In 2003, IPIX established its security group to support the needs of Homeland Security, Department of Defense, and Public Safety by means of manufacturing surveillance camera systems that provide 360 degree situational awareness. IPIX products have been specifically designed to protect the nation's critical infrastructure, such as ports and harbors, waterways, dams, conventional and nuclear power generating facilities, airports, railways, passenger and commuter trains, and bridges and tunnels. IPIX offers a range of video surveillance camera systems that feature IPIX patented technology. IPIX technology allows the user to view an area of interest while the camera records an entire 360 degree scene in all directions at the same time with no blind spots. Multiple users are able to see everything in the camera's environment simultaneously as well as roam around the scene using digital pan-tilt-zoom with no moving parts. Installations utilize IPIX camera solutions for early detection of intrusions or attacks without having to worry that a potential threat may evade perimeter guards or cameras. IPIX cameras are placed in secured areas to allow for continuous monitoring and remote operation centers are alerted to movement, disturbances, environmental changes or potential threats across a broad landscape. The G8 Summit Planning Organization began its evaluation of IPIX surveillance systems in September of 2003 and chose IPIX as the exclusive internal security and logistics surveillance system in January 2004. The G8 Summit deployed multiple IPIX Command View and Command View 360 cameras at critical locations including airfields, landing zones, and host facilities over a 120-mile area from Savannah to Sea Island, Georgia, site of the 2004 G8 Summit. The cameras were viewed on workstations in command and control centers by multiple security and logistics agencies, the Summit Planning Organization, national and international delegations, and the U.S. Secret Service. The primary purpose was to provide security surveillance for the leaders of the eight member nations and logistical support for the Summit Planning Organization. Uh, as you know, uh, Secretary Tom Ridge designated the 2004 G8 Summit as a National Security Special Event, which is the highest designation any event uh, in the United States can be given. Early on, uh, during the planning stages of the summit, the President uh, instructed us to go out and bring in and utilize the latest technology, and certainly the IPEX camera uh, fits into that category. It's cutting-edge technology that provided us uh, a, a something that had never been done before at any previous summit. The 360-degree camera lens allows us to capture a much larger picture and so it, rather than just a, uh, a narrow lens we now can see the whole event unfold. A narrow, vi narrow view camera requires you to manipulate and aim the camera in the directions of the area that you need to see. When you're dealing with an event with many different components, it's important to be able to see the whole field of play as opposed to a narrow vision. We can see the helicopter land with the 360 degree lens. At the same time, we can see the motorcade staging off to the right and the passengers, uh, the drivers moving the motorcade into position. So we can see everything unfold as it's supposed to unfold without having the delay of manipulating the camera and trying to focus and move in, we see the whole picture as if you were standing there yourself in, in person. And so that's very valuable. The camera was essential for us in coordinating the timing of the arrivals and departures of the leaders' aircraft and helicopters from Hunter Army Airfield 
to our security landing zone on the Sea Island Causeway. We were able to keep the president advised to the minute as, as the leaders were progressively uh, descending on Sea Island. Secret Service utilized this uh, camera. The feed of this of the images were fed into the multi-agency command center, which had all the law enforcement federal agencies and state federal and state uh, law enforcement agencies. It was a it was a huge command center that they all had access to the to this uh, uh, the broadcast of the images off the IPix camera. We used the camera. Uh, for both logistical reasons and security reasons at the main checkpoint, security checkpoint, uh, that allowed the checkpoint that you had to go through to gain access to Sea Island, to the summit venue. It was, the la it was basically the last checkpoint that you had to clear. We had uh, fears that there would be huge protests at that, at that intersection. And so we want to have a camera in place so we could see things develop if crowds started to gather at that intersection, if we had a backup of vehicles at that intersection, if motorcades could not get through because the intersection was clogged with vehicles or personnel, we could reroute or we could uh, change, adapt our plan to divert around situations like that. And so that's where it played a huge role. Um, it, it gave us a, a one-up, you know, it gave us some advance notice of a pending or, or gathering problem and allowed us to do, to divert and do other things. Uh, and it was an absolute essential tool and I am confident will be used at every summit. The, the last eight years I worked uh, directly for the President of the United States at the White House, White House Communications Agency and, and I was in charge of communications um, wherever he went, whether it be overseas or it would be in Washington, D.C., or it would be in, in Iowa. I uh, have been a signal officer in the military all my life. Uh, command and control is the most effective thing, and it's the thing that you need for this. Uh, Spence Geisinger had introduced me to IPEX and, uh, and immediately I realized that uh, it was a professional group of guys, that technology was what we needed. And what's incredible about this technology is not only can you see the battlefield, but you can pick something out and zoom in and, and you can further identify what it is or why it's there or why it's a threat. It's C3I, a command and control and communications for any major function. You got to have stuff that's, that's, uh, that's flawless, that, that's not going to break, that, that's supportable, that's uh, simple to hook together. I'm speaking to the Deputy Chief of Staff of the White House last night, this technology would be an asset to the RNC, to any event that requires multiple agencies, multiple um, things that happen at, at the same time simultaneously, that, that you can only have one ambassador or you can only have one Secret Service agent, uh, but, but needs to see what's happening in the whole, I call it battlefield, but be able to see the entire battlefield in a snapshot. Um, in this particular situation, you only have one ambassador, you only have one deputy, you only have one security agent that's in charge, and, and this IPEX has allowed you to bring situational awareness to everybody. We're allowing the Secret Service to see what's happening, we're allowing the ambassador to see what's happening, uh, we're allowing me to see what's happening. We put in a gig -E network to support the IPEX cameras, that network is basically running 120 miles from Savannah all the way to Sea Island, um, the whole width of Sea Island because uh, of the venue at Ocean Forest and the venue at, 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 at the Beach Club. Um, and command and control, C3I is the most important thing. No commander, nobody's effective unless you can see the picture. And uh, this technology is phenomenal.